Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we go over some nice things on those Xiaomi phones and those Poco phones. Yes, both the Poco and the Xiaomi phones, they share a similar operating system. Um, the one that I'm showing you today is 12.0. 0.9.0 on the MI UI uh, operating system which is based on Android 10 and I will show you how you can read Russian text or other many other languages um, and um, translate it and convert it convert it over to whatever language you wish um, and and then actually have it spoken the translation spoken or the original language spoken. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay, I'll show you how to do that and I'll hide into the video. If you're having trouble connecting your phone to a computer by USB, hey, I just threw that in hidden in this video. Okay, I've already talked about it before, but hey, I know it's an ongoing problem. All right, so sit back, relax, and we'll get into it. Okay, the first thing you um, may want to do is make sure there are no system updates. If you go to settings and click about phone, um, it will say here if there is a um, need to update. Um, so um, to go into developer mode, which is the first thing we need to do, um, you tap MIUI version seven times and um, so just um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, around that, um, just keep tapping until you see that you're in developer mode. Okay. And while you're in developer mode, um, it may be um, a good idea not to let your um, kids or any kids uh, play with their phone because there's going to be a lot more options available. Go to your additional settings, okay, and then developer options. Make sure the developer mode is um, on. So that's where you could um, turn the developer options off um, to make it safer um, for for uh, things to get messed up by kids or someone else. Scroll down and you'll see USB debugging. Turn that on. Okay. There will be a countdown. Click accept after the countdown is completed. To do a quick shortcut to get into your camera, go to settings. and go to additional settings. Go to button or gesture shortcuts. Okay. And to launch camera, you've got a few options. So you can double press the power button. Okay, so it'll open up the camera. Uh, and then if you come out of the camera, it's gonna go into your lock screen um, where you have to enter your password. Um, you can do it with long press the home button or the menu button or the back button. So let's do the back button. Okay. So we're already logged in and then just hold that and it goes right to the camera. Don't know if that is of any benefit. Okay. So let's go back and do, show the, um, power button button shortcuts launch camera we're going to go to double press the power button okay okay so it goes right to the camera without having to put in a password um, if you come out of that then you're into the login screen 
Let's try and translate some Russian text that's on a box. I've got the double tap power button to launch the camera. And you press this button up here, this one here. Okay, it's going to ask you to put in your password. Okay, so we've got some Russian text here. And Okay, so from there you can um, select all. You can copy the text. It says copy to computer. Listen to it. Let's listen to it. Per architecture, it's built with enhanced sensors and high-speed G6 memory. Russian ray tracing cores. Two tensor cores, third generation. PCI Express bus, fourth generation. Microsoft Direct X12 Ultimate. Graphics memory for GDDRE, NVIDIA DLSS technology. NVIDIA GeForce Experience. NVIDIA G-Sync, NVIDIA GPU Boost. Game Ready Drivers. Vulkan RTAPI. Open GL 4.6 DisplayPort 1.4 and HDMI 2. Protecting high bandwidth digital content supports virtual reality mode, VRE. Scan for more languages. Search for other languages, COV. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.